anyone here ever been totally and utterly madly in love? Duff. I mean with a human being. That's great man, I didn't know that you guys were such a centre for homosexuality. <laughs> Everybody tells you that Newcastle's not very right on, well that sounds pretty right on to me guys. <laughs> so here's the clubs then. No, for me, of course, I just want to tell Bruce about it. <laughs> it's a matter of few words and many gestures. And that was all of them. Anyway, this song's about that. It's called, and this is a title for you. No, I, I think you were playing. <laughs> You're brilliant, go ahead. It's called Big Mass Follow Me. encouraged to be good boys and uh, do all the right things and gradually I realised all they were trying to teach me at school was how to know my place. I don't know about you but that really gets my onions. So this is a song about that. It's about uh, people who, who either stroke of good luck or genius or just sheer bastardness. <laughs> I mean this most sincerely folks, find themselves in positions of influence and abuse it. It's called... Wrong. Who can we abuse anything man, have you seen them? It's called... Remind me not to use that one to wipe my face. Songs. <laughs> Man, wait a minute. None of you saw this, but you should have seen that guy's face when he shouted that. <laughs> Somebody must love you, yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Yes, and it's me. Are you embarrassed now, eh? No, as embarrassed as you've got to be. This is a song about the other side of the coin from the last one that is. Ah, exactly. It's called Tales. You were here last night. Man, I've asked you twice to see this. You're keen. I appreciate it, really. Honest. It's called Ships. We'll do a slow one, eh? We'll do uh, uh, All right. It's called Take You to the Moon. This, this, I think you are right. Since Mark came back in, into the band, I've aged about 20 years. <laughs> but I've also had, had more fun than you could shake a stick at. 
we go together like peas and carrots. <laughs> <laughs> Straight about Stuart's earlier comment. I love him dearly and he always hurts me. Forthcoming though. The exact date. Tell me the names and addresses of everyone who is here, smart ass. <laughs> alright, alright, I believe you. Oh, that's very nice. Here's a man who has had the pulse of the nation. Thanks, friend. That's nice to hear that you can talk for your whole country like that. Because I'll tell you a little story, right? When this guy was small, he used to love horror stories, right? And he used to say to his mum, 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 well, except in an English accent, right? <laughs> Mark, how did he used to say it? <laughs> Very good. So yeah, that's what he said anyway. He said, Tell me a horror story so that I can go to sleep. And his mum said, Hey, I'm telling a fucking story, you shut up. <laughs> No, that's not what she's saying, like, because mums don't say things like that, right? Well, <laughs> maybe you use this, Bruce, right? <laughs> anyway, he used to say to his mum, Mum, tell me a horror story. And she says, all right, son, here we go. Here's your story. She's, what, what a fucking ignorant cheap that guy is. Do that guy in the back. And his mum used to say, I'm right, son, here's the story. She said, once upon a time, there was this Scotsman, and now there's millions of bastards. <laughs> Look! Now, I don't know how many fucking big country gigs you've been at, right? But never once, at any gig that I was at, did we ever play any skid songs. Ever! Does anyone remember that? Well, you were at the wrong fucking gigs, and if you do, because I was at every one of them, and I don't even remember it ever. I was at all the skids gigs. But that was them, and this is maybe them too. See, there's a guy shouting for sensible songs. Except we're just not going to play it. 
I'd like to get all quiet and intimate with you now anyway. And play this. Have a little drink from this very dinky little bottle. Isn't that pretty, that, eh? There you go. Bally Gowan, still Irish natural mineral water. What do they expect it to turn into some males? <laughs> Come in. What was that? Was that you, Bertie? Fucking bass players are noisy buggers. Eh? <laughs> what fucking here? <laughs> Bruce, have you got a personal relationship going on down the front here? <laughs> I've got to tell you, ladies, Bruce is a dangerous guy to hang around with. A dangerous guy to hang out on. <laughs> Want me to get my gear off? <laughs> get your own out, Stuart. Stay in out. Okay, stand back. <laughs> I am no fucking kid neither. <laughs> Much. Quite often in Big Country, we like to do other people's songs. Yes! Alrighty! <laughs> and quite often we do them well. And sometimes... We just will do them. <laughs> so hopefully we do this good, because I really love this song. It's a song I grew up loving. It's a song by Robbie Robertson. It's called The Night They Drove Old Dixie Down. Don't fear your underpants. Sorry, rephrase that. <laughs> You're correct. I can see that you're at this university, aren't you? <laughs> you must have stopped watching Connie the Street a long time, man. It's a person something now. <laughs> yeah, see? Anyway, hello and good evening. It's nice to be back here in the midst of fucking nowhere. <laughs> well, it's not Norwich, is it? It's the middle of a field somewhere. In fact, if it was the middle of a field, it would be cool because we could all get naked and make it like Woodstock. In fact, you can do that anyway. Anyway, it's very cool to be back here in East Anglia again. At the home of the quiz of the week. This is for anyone that's ever been buggered up by someone they care about. It's called Seven Waves. Just... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you think that's really how you pronounce my name? <laughs> you see who you said that? I know who you are. In fact, I was talking to your mother tonight before I came to the show. And she said to me, if you happen to see my retarded son when you get to the gig, tell him not to fuck with your act. It's all right though. Because you won't recognise her when you get home because I shaved her back. <laughs> Want to shout some more? <laughs> yeah, I had to shave her back just so you could tell what gender she was. <laughs> I've got shit bells if you want me to keep going all right. But there's an 11, I don't know if I'm a 10.45 curfew, so the less bullshit we talk and the more music we play, the more all these people get to hear. So, we'll play this.
Watch where you're pointing that thing. Well, it's nice for us to get a chance to come out here and play in places that we normally don't get a chance to play. And uh, come along here and be received like this in places we've never been before. Thanks very much, you're real kind. I mean that most sincerely, folks. I've played in Strath Pepper, you know. <laughs> Who was there? You're a liar. You didn't even remember it. Wait a minute, this is how you get around chicks, guys. You can't possibly be that old. Do we have any beer drinkers in here tonight? Yeah. Plenty several. I don't touch the stuff myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm deadly serious. Not strong enough. Is it? So it is. See that? I can't even read my own set list. Anyway, we're playing that song next. But the song we're about to play now is not that one at all. What? Wait a minute, here's a guy who wants a conversation here. <laughs> Thank you for playing. <laughs> Wrong. Anyway, I pick the songs, it's my group, right? You go and start your own band. Shit! Shit! That's broken heart! Wrong title. <laughs> but right song. That's the first time I've ever had a guy's tongue in my ear. And quite frankly, it gave me an erection. <laughs> well, well, you want to see? No, I'm keeping the guitar here. We've run out of songs, so we're going to play other people's now. Sexual proclivities are. 
right now. All that matters is that they're important to you and it makes all of them beautiful people. We'll save that one for later. If you're good. If you didn't shout at me between numbers. seen us before. Is, is this better? Oh, th thanks very much. We ever show it. No. Well, maybe be better, but at least it's more real. Because, see, when you're doing it like this, there's always a chance that you can do this. But not very often. <laughs> I was only kidding, no. <laughs> Honest. Is, is she big? Good because so am I. Change your pants, I change with Bruce.
the man with the mighty clubs, and they're all in his golf bag, apart from one, and it's in his hands right now. Will your anchor hold, Mr. Anthony Errol Butler? swallow there because you know I always swallow every time. So you've heard, so you run in the same circles as I do. See me later. Bring a rubber band with you. In case you burst. You know what this is lying down here? You're really fucking smart, you know. That's my best line of the whole night. <laughs> and I'm sorry folks, I had a whole hour and a half of the show you planned to, but this guy just fucking blown it. Even this, uh, just a shadow, but we're no fucking playing that. <laughs> just a fucking shadow. <laughs> Thank you. 
I hope you're going to share with me with everybody. Start again, eh? <laughs> time ago on our second ever record we've recorded a song that seemed to oh yes well, indeed we did I like that do that again you've got to lift your skirt up at the same time for that's it alright that's better especially from where I'm sitting you could almost read your lips there I'm only fooling, don't get all hurt. <coughs> we wrote a song that seemed to strike a chord with a lot of people, and it's kind of stuck with us ever since then. It's uh, G flat. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's, got, uh, it's called Just a Shadow. Uh, one, two, three, four. And uh, the reason we stopped playing it was every time we actually went out to play it, we used to burst out laughing on stage. So, we kind of stopped playing it because it was actually used on the TV for a beer advert, right? Yeah. What's that? Aye, aye. <laughs> was that in French? <laughs> It's easy for me, yeah, I've got a mic and you've no, it's all right. <clears throat> One great thing. Do we have any beer drinkers in tonight? Yeah. You're kidding, I didn't realise there were that many people in the hall. 
What? A kiss? I know you live out here on the islands, but you don't want me to kiss you here. Bruce will kiss you. Why no, he's a good kisser. I should know it was his turn in the barrel last night. This is our beer advert song. It's called One Great Night. <laughs> I would like to go all deep and meaningless on you again. Uncle who? Uncle Jordy. I've not got an Uncle Jordy, you're talking to the wrong guy. <laughs> Wait a minute, everybody shush. Right, shush. Right. Say hello to Uncle Jordy. There you go. There's a guy saying hello to his Uncle Jordy on the radio. I don't think this gate goes to Barlini. <laughs> this is called Everything I Need. And it's, uh, it's actually a track that we've never done on stage before. Does anyone here have to take absolute shit all day long? No, I mean like... Every minute is that? Let me see you. Fuck me, it looks like it too. <laughs> I can see the pain next right there in your face, man. So this song's for you. It's called, What the Fuck Are You Walking For? <laughs> what do you want to hear? having a twisted strap, it's like when your knickers go up your arse. Thank you, Ron. Can you pull my knickers in my arse, too? <laughs>